KCTV5 is tracking the latest developments in the delivery of the COVID vaccine. Local school districts are finalizing plans to vaccinate their teachers and staff. KCTV5's Betsy Webster is live tonight outside Truman Medical Center with a closer look, Betsy, at the timeline. Well, you may recall, Ellen, that this is where the very first vaccine in the metro was given. Since then, besides their own medical staff, they've had multiple high-risk groups come to the hospital to get the shot. But now they are planning to bring the shot to workers at school gyms. It was almost a month ago to the day that Truman Med Center gave its first COVID-19 shot to a staff nurse. Just last week, they moved on to EMTs. And today, they began the first round for emergency responders who are not EMTs, like police and firefighters. To date, we've already done over 6,000 immunizations uh, because we can do them and do them very efficiently. Truman Med Center's CEO says his staff is now ready with the logistics all set to utilize their large medical staff to get the Pfizer vaccine to teachers and other school staff at seven metro area districts. What's really great is we can set up with the school's assistance in high school gymnasiums and set up a mass vaccination clinic and really do, you know, hundreds if not a thousand a day in these school settings. We are like extremely grateful. That's the superintendent of the center school district. They started the school year with a small number of students in school but went back to remote when numbers climbed in November. When they have access to the, the vaccine and can get the vaccine, then there's a sense of security. When that happens depends on demand for the group ahead of them. Missouri's Tier 1A included healthcare workers, long-term care facilities, and EMS workers. That's done. Yesterday, Governor Mike Parson announced the start of Tier 1B. After police and firefighters, people aged 65 and up, and those with comorbidities are next. After that is essential workers, which includes teachers. We are hopeful that it will be offered uh, early in February, but we're, we're waiting for that information from the state of Missouri. Betsy Webster, KCTV5 News.